It might not look pretty, but it tastes great. That is Liz's Ugly Bakery. Right. But I took a day off. She is. I so did. I get to step in with Rob's Simple Kitchen. Yay, I can't yeah. wait. It might not look like a lot of effort, but it's simple that even a five-year-old can do. <laughs> yes, but the toast is unparalleled that you did last time around for Rob's that Simple was. Kitchen. That was like a couple of months ago. Yeah. So now Rob's Simple Kitchen. It's pretty simple. I'm so excited. Yeah. I am so excited. What do we have this morning? Like, I don't smell anything that was cooking. No, 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 no. Okay. Remember, it's a little effort. Yeah, I mean, so still. I shall reveal. Oh my goodness! I have for everybody. <laughs> I go ahead. Let me see. I have <laughs> peanut butter crackers and slices of orange. Oh, Here we go in. I, you know, I thought he's gonna bring a lunchable. No, I know that's too simple. No, but this is a uh, peanut butter crackers. You know those little toasty crackers right. that you get in the in the cellophane yeah. that has has uh, eight eight of them in there. Right. So, and then slices of orange. Now, these are growing boys over here, TJ and Ian, right. in our in our video department, our yeah. producers. I gave them three slices of orange. And I got two. So, for a healthy treat. Well, you know, so you could have put this just, you know, you could put this on a, a wooden board and call it a charcuterie board if you put maybe a little... Maybe no. a banana to change the color. There's I'm a lot not of that orange. fancy. There's a lot of orange there. Not that. Fa- what, what's wrong with that? No, I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. It's I'm simple. Saying there's a, it is simple. It's simple. Rob's Little simple effort. Kitchen. Very simple that even a five year old can put together. And I love both of these that you have presented. Thank us. you. Yeah. So if we will, we'll start with uh, Ian and the uh, the taste test and the sample. Well, I will say props to having all the food um, be color coordinated. Thank you. They're all the same shade of orange. Thank and you. Um, they are definitely, uh, they definitely taste about the same way they did last time I had them. Don't, <laughs> don't tell me you have an allergy. Uh, not that you know of, no. Okay. okay. Well, at least not to the peanut butter. Okay, well, good. Thank you. He didn't try it, but. He you know, didn't. No, but He's that's all right. On. I, I tried it. Okay. He's what, going I, on memories. No, I, 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 I got a bite top. taken. And oh, he I, does. And my orange slices is gone. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, TJ, know. if you would. Usually, just by the way, TJ does not like Liz's ugly kitchen. Ever. Or ba- yeah, bakery. so bakery. So how about Rob's Simple Kitchen? TJ. So normally, I don't like peanut butter. Mm hmm. So a peanut butter cracker would be like one of those things I just kind of brush off the way. But today? But with the orange, it just... See? Uh, so wait a minute. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, but I should have known because anything mm-hmm. processed, not saying the orange is processed, no. but those crackers are processed. I've made the orange. Right. That that would be right in TJ's wheelhouse. You know? That just... It just tops it off. Well, I will say the orange mm-hmm. is fantastic. That's a great addition to my morning. And the cracker is good. No blog for the recipe. You don't need it. No. Just, it's just a peanut butter cracker and orange slices. Go to the convenience you store. Got it. They'll have Rob's right. Simple Kitchen. That's it. Here you go. <laughs> His morning crew. I don't know what the biggest fish you've ever experienced or seen caught, but here is one person that say, I caught one that was this big. I mean, humongous in the Detroit River. It's called a uh, a giant river monster. That's what they call this thing. It's a sturgeon fish, which it looks like a catfish. Only humongous. I mean, really huge. And they say it's 100 years old. What? 100 years old. It's as big as a guy who is 6 feet 10 inches and 240 pounds. Why does this, like, make me ill to think about i don't know because i can see like bluefish tuna um blue tail tuna whatever it's called uh that's caught and i'm, I'm okay with it but this one just kind of freaks me out a little bit because of the way it looks kind of the way it looks and it's like over 200 pounds 240 pounds and over 100 years old so when the person reeled it in it's like whoa i caught the biggest one in here and so they studied it Mm-hmm. They said it's 100 years old and then put it back into the Detroit River. Oh, well, I'm glad they did that. I'm catch and release. Were, yeah. Just a long catch and <laughs> a yeah. long release. Wow. But, yeah, that guy or girl, whoever caught it, is going to be able to say, I caught the biggest fish ever out of the Detroit River. Yeah. Detroit River fish. Humongous. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. 100-year-old fish. Uh-huh. It's a sturgeon. It was caught in Detroit yep. right in the river, mm-hmm. and then they figured all out about it and put it back in. 240 pounds. Huh. Wow. Evidently, you do a lot with sturgeon. I had no idea because Lauren's chiming in at 800-447-7234. What about this fish? Well, I was born 
one afternoon. I got to watch a talent say They were talking about how surgeons there have it's across the east that they breed for a sturgeon for caviar. And I was like, oh my lord, this is awesome. Is the sturgeon fish the only fish that you can get caviar from? That I do not know. They were just running the special on the sturgeon. And then you guys were talking about the story this morning. And I'm like, oh, cool. I know a fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Mornings with Rob and Liz. Hey, if you think about it, text the word reconnection. You can do that right now. Reconnection to 800-447-7234. Crystal did that. She texted reconnection to 800-447-7234. Here's what she said. She said, my husband and I celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. It's coming up in June. And we have not, because of everything, been able to um, get away from the kids. She said, ha, ha, ha. (laughs) But we really want to. She said, even if we just get a babysitter for a couple of hours so that we can hang out together, maybe watch a movie, have some dinner. Um, but it would be really nice to to get away um, without the kids, just as a couple, and celebrate our anniversary. What? Oh, really? Yeah, the anniversary's tenth, coming up. Tenth the tenth anniversary. Tenth anniversary. Yeah. I didn't catch that part. Yeah. Wow. I I hope you do yeah. win and you're able to get some time away because it could happen. Somebody's going to win a reconnection to remember. It might as well be you. So what would it look like for you? Text the word reconnection to 800-447-7234. Go to hisradio.com or just tap on the My His Radio app. His Morning Crew. If you're a farmer, you realize that when you are a farmer, when the animals get sick, when something happens, you're kind of always on call. I mean, it's your place, your property, right? So there are two um, uh, folks in uh, Australia. They're farmers. They're dairy farmers. They had their wedding all planned. They were getting married on the farm, out on the countryside. But during... The wedding, and I don't know if it was how far into the wedding it was. Girl was already in her wedding dress. <laughs> she gets a call. Well, cow's going into labor. She's got to go deliver a calf in her wedding dress. In Come her on now. Dress. And she got down in the mud. She and her uh, fiance, because they were not married yet, uh, gets down in the mud, deliver the baby calf right there. So she then. You know, cleans the calf up, gets it with its mommy, you know, gets it nursing, whatever. Takes off and uh, gets married. Same day. In and, a muddy dress. In a muddy dress. Yeah. I mean, she was down in the mud, you know, in the in the stable, I guess, or on the property, helping deliver this calf. And boom, there you go. Yeah, well, you know, when they got to give birth, they give birth. I know, and uh, they're doing well, mama, baby, doing very well. And the happy couple are married and starting on their new life. And it shows his commitment. Oh, it's sure. like, okay, I'm in, and if you need to deliver this calf, I'm going to be there with you. Yeah, he's like, okay, I understand we've got to do this now, so, uh, you know, we'll put the wedding on hold. I wonder if the guests were, like, around watching this happen or if they Oh, yeah. You know, I, it turned into a great thing. I think so. They partied afterwards. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. What is that guy doing in his front yard? Oh, he's walking a tiger. His morning crew with Rob and Liz. And now the tiger's gone and missing, and they don't know where this tiger could be. It's crazy. So this is a guy who's been in trouble with the law. He's out on bail. Yeah. Then they put him back in jail, and he's back out again. And he says, it's my tiger, but I don't own it. <laughs> and he, they don't know where it is. No, yeah, he was walking it in his front yard. Like, what? So evidently, it's loose somewhere in Houston. This is Houston. So they're looking for this tiger still. And some people say, we thought we saw him put it in a car and drove off. Yeah. So there's all this stuff that's, you know, surrounding this whole yeah. caper of this exotic ammo that's possibly loose in a neighborhood somewhere. Can you imagine that? No. Seeing that in your neighborhood? I can't even, like... Some guy, oh, what? what is that? That's not a dog. I think I didn't get enough sleep and go back to bed. I would, too. I mean, I'd probably go out in the yard and be like, what in the world is happening out here? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, okay, I'm going back in. I don't want to be around a, a loose tiger. No, and I've never seen, you know, outside of a deer go through a neighborhood mm-hmm. that, you know, it's not even close to woods. I've yeah. never really seen anything out of the ordinary, there you was, know. There was a report of a bear in our neighborhood. But she lives week. in a neighborhood that We're that a bear would country. be in. Yeah. Sure. sure. Well, I've never seen one. We've been there a while, but uh, yes, yeah, some of our neighbors reported they had seen a bear. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past your neighborhood. No, it's not something that you would be like. Ah, what in the world are you doing here? But um, yeah. I yeah, probably and, still scream, but. <laughs> well, and there have probably been bears around your house. You just don't know it because you guys are asleep. 
<laughs> right? Thanks for that. Like, oh, you're well. I'm not trying to scare her. No, I don't. I'm not scaring you. I mean, a bear, if I were safe on the inside, I don't think would scare me. But It'd be all right. Right. But if I were sitting, because I like to sit in the yard, you know, like. At midnight? No, not n- never. I am out at midnight. Yeah, Forget that. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Text the word reconnection to 800 447 7234. Kelly did that. And Kelly told us about a story. This is the first reconnection I've heard of like this so far. She said there's somebody really special to her in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, they were together about 15 years and uh, then they got engaged, but then they had to call their marriage off. He had a stroke. And, oh, no. Yeah, so he still has some um, issues. He has limited voice capacity and things like that. But she really, not just says she wants to reconnect with him, but she needs to. This is a relationship that maybe slipped through her fingers. But, uh, you know, over the past year, she's she's realized just how important he is to her. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. To think of him like that. Mm-hmm. What? Well, how about you? What's your reconnection story? And what would it look like if it were to happen? Let us know. Share the story with us. The Reconnection to Remember. Just text the word Reconnection, 800-447-7234. You can go to hisradio.com or just tap on the Buy His Radio. Mornings with Rob and Liz. Despite this whole pandemic thing and now this whole gas shortage Mm -hmm. thing, that's going to be shorter lived than the pandemic. (laughs) I promise you that. People are saying... I've become a better person. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Yeah, I think a lot of people are, you know, in the midst of a crisis, can have a little more compassion for each other. And especially with the pandemic and the gas, that we're all in the same boat kind of together. And it's made us more patient and understanding and, like I say, compassionate. But most people think that they have become a better person. A lot of people have said that. Yeah. They've said we've given more, which is really cool. Yeah. A couple of people have said we've taken out the trash for our neighbor. That's sure. nice. Take mine out, please. I That'd know. be really nice. Mow my lawn. <laughs> I haven't been able since this whole thing. My wife's been in Florida. I haven't mowed the lawn. Really? I think I think my neighbors are starting to get upset. They haven't said anything. Yeah. They haven't looked at me funny. But that's just the way I think. It's like, man, I'm bringing down the neighborhood in my lawn. Well, you had rain you know? for a couple of days, so maybe today is the day. I don't know. I don't to, to mow it. Yeah. My wife's getting home today, so oh. maybe I better. <laughs> <laughs> maybe what time you so get out of here? So she's not so so disappointed. People are walking their neighbors' dogs. How are doing cool is that? doing things for others, which is really nice. So that's why they're saying that a lot of people are thinking I've become better because yeah. of this. That would be really cool to find out if somebody's done something for you through all of this. Even you know if you're in the gas line, somebody le- you know lets you in in front of them. Maybe not today. <laughs> maybe, but you know what? That would be super awesome if someone that sacrificed did their spot. Well, and we uh, we talked to a gentleman yesterday, I think it was, that said he was in Virginia and the love station was charging people f- premium. They were giving premium gas for the cost of regular gas. Of the regular unleaded, yeah. Yeah, because that's all they had. And, and now it's all diesel. I <laughs> wish there was something to filter diesel to make it unleaded. I know. Because <laughs> that Don't seems to be the only stuff that's left right now. His morning crew. There's a way to get rid of the hair on your legs and you don't even need a razor blade. Oh, you're going to like this. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. I think you're going to like it. I don't think so. There, There's a woman on TikTok and evidently she found it on this same social media platform, how to shave her legs without a razor. And it is using 600 grit sandpaper on sandpaper her, on her legs. I, I it works. She said she had stubble the very next day. What does that mean? Is that normal? I would think no. I, no? I, you know, even if you're somebody whose hair on your legs grows that quickly, you, uh, that seems very, very quickly. I would think two days that you might see a little stubble. I don't know. I just have but, hair on my legs and I just leave it. <laughs> well, most guys do. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, as far as shaving, like, um, I don't, what's the big issue? I don't know. With a razor, I, using you a cut razor. Cut yourself? Well, but you, can you imagine if she went too hard with the sandpaper, what that could do? Like a burn or something? My sister, when we were little, and we were, well, I say she was a teenager, she shaved her legs so hard. It was when she was first learning, like, to do that process. And she shaved them so much. She had to stay out of school for a couple of days. Like, she had red streaks Ouch. up her Yes, up she her She should have used sandpaper. <laughs> I don't think so. That would have been worse. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Honestly, I, I'm just going to be honest here. 
I don't get the whole big thing about the shortage of Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't get it. I don't understand what the big deal is over the short. I'm not talking about gas. No. I'm talking about the Chick-fil-A sauce. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Yeah, there is a story that's out that Chick-fil-A is kind of limiting some of the sauces because they're running out. So. Oh, that's I, I'm seeing it all over my social media. People are just like going nuts over this. And I'm like, w- why? I don't oh, care. My I don't kids, use this stuff. Oh, my kids, my boys especially. If you don't get the sauce that they want, Luke especially loves um, Polynesian sauce. If That's what my kids get. Yeah, yeah. If it's not in the bag, like if he forgets to ask, if they forget, or the shortage, I mean, he's like, what am I going to do without my sauce? He didn't actually sound like that, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's pretty upset about it. I so. don't get I just, I'm sorry. I don't get it. Do you not, so you don't have a favorite? Or no, I don't care. The, you just don't. I don't use them. sauce. I don't care. I mean, I use it and they love, really, it's a whole thing. Ian, what do you think? What Didn't you have something to say about it? Yeah, no, I mean, all this uh, sauce shortage doesn't really affect me any. I'm just really glad that I ended up buying a bottle of Chick-fil-A sauce at the grocery store just a couple weeks ago. Wait a minute, they sell this stuff in the store? You didn't oh, know? Yeah. yeah. So I'm really? all prepared. You are all prepared. And I so can put it on everything, too. What? You put, the, you use the Chick-fil-A sauce? Oh, Chick-fil-A sauce is like ranch. You can just put it on anything and it'll be great. Candy? <laughs> Uh, don't tempt me. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't. I just don't get. It. I know. I understand people. You know, like yeah. it. There's like, a, like a, a big variety of this stuff too. Oh, there's Polynesia. There's a. Uh, uh, my oldest son likes the spicy sriracha. They have they, what? They have spicy sriracha. Really? Yeah. And, I thought it was just like ranch and Polynesian. Oh, no, there's like eight or nine different types. There's like uh, yes, they they do have ranch. They have Polynesian, honey mustard, Chick Fil A. Uh, the sriracha. Chick-fil-A. It's just a Chick-fil-A. I think it's a, I want to say it's a mayo, barbecue, honey mustardy type of sauce. It's good. It's, okay. it's got a lot of calories, so I try to I still don't. Else. I still don't get the big deal. I don't know. I think TJ is uh, maybe he doesn't care or he does. I, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. As long as you give me my mustard, I'm all right. And see, that's all you need is just if, if you're going to have anything, you know, mustard. So. Just well, that's mustard. all right. Wow. Enjoy your sauce while you have it. <laughs> his Morning Crew. Through it all, God's got gotcha. you. It's Robin Liz, His Morning Crew on his radio. And through it all, I think that there's a way that something can happen with a reconnection to remember. And what would that look like for you, for somebody that you've been away from since March 2020. Right. Text the word reconnection to 800-447-7234. So Amanda wants to reconnect, especially with her dad, her mom and dad, uh, because she says that he's been in some terrible pain for a lot of years and he spends all of his money on hospital bills and medication and so much so that he can't even afford to really go through like a McDonald's and get an ice cream. You know, really? As a treat. Oh, and that's horrible. She said they want a uh, backyard remodel so they can eventually build a tiny home back there for her parents. So they'll stay on their property? Yeah, that, that's the kind of reconnection, man. She wants it to wow. stick. Wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. And to have like an Everybody Loves Raymond where the in-laws can come in whenever they want. Right. She said that they live in Miami. She never gets to see them. And they're starting to need a little help. To have a place just right in the backyard yeah. like that. And they'll yeah. stay in a tiny home. That tells you I they're know. simple. I love the tiny home. they got homes. great parents. Yeah. Oh, I hope that can happen. How about your reconnection? What would it look like for you? A reconnection to remember. Again, text the word reconnection to 800-447-7234. Go to hisradio.com or you can even tap on the My His Radio app. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Because this dude can, he did mm-hmm. give away a $40,000 plus car. What? A 40, yeah, Jim Carrey, who's oh. working on the movie is Sonic 2. He can afford it. So he did a little raffle for the crew members okay. and said, okay, the winner of the raffle gets this car. $40,000. It turns out to be a Chevy Blazer RS, which evidently is a pretty... Pretty nice vehicle. Very nice yeah, vehicle. $40, yeah, forty thousand dollars. So I wonder how many uh, cast and crew members were, were there and got into this drawing. Oh, probably all of them. Well, I know. If you could I, get a fancy car like that for free, I, I mean, know. come on. I just don't know how many people actually work on a movie set. I, I guess the bigger Hundreds. the movie, yeah, the bigger the, the you, cast you, and crew. You could imagine this kind of movie, Sonic mm-hmm. 2, well, and it being a name of Jim Carrey, that there's oh, yeah. a lot of people on the crew. Yeah. So I'm, I think more than two. More than two. You have more <laughs> than a 50 the raffle yeah. for the thing. Yeah, but I, I, I hope that whoever got it, you know, needed that vehicle and it made their life 
better, helped them in well, some way. Well, of course. Way. I mean, yeah. the movies aren't being made like they used Mm-mm. to be right now, not since 2020. Mm-mm. So this really helped out in a big way. You know what I just thought? I am a movie goer. I love going to a theater. I haven't been in over a year. I'm like, sorry. it just hit me that I was like, oh, Right now what? it just hit you? I mean, I just haven't thought about it because, you know, you can watch some of the new movies at home. There's not that many, but just thinking about, we always would go when a new Avengers movie or a new Star Wars movie or whatever. We would go as a family, and that's something we haven't done. Don't you like it at your home? I mean, I do. But I really like... There is nothing like like sitting in front of big screen for some movies. Yeah, when you're watching those, you know, because I like Mission Impossible and James Bond and the... You know, you like all the explosions? Oh, I love... I love... She's cool. Do you hear this? (laughs) She's cool. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. What do you call it when you have nine? Is it non-emojis or something like that? Non-emoji? No, non emoji. Non uplets. Nine uplets. None. Non. None uplets. Not none. Non uplets. Non uplets. Non uplets. None of them. Yes. Like a non non thing, a non uplet. Well, like nine. Nine, but, but, but you, it's none. None. Uh, you got so it's so a non non emojis. Hold on. Hold on. None uplets. Okay. What what whatever <laughs> she just said there. There was a lady who had nine babies. Yeah. It's Robin Liz. His morning crew on his radio. All at one time. Nine. This is well, in... I'm sure they were spaced apart throughout the day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my, yes. Um, but, yeah, they were. she was born or uh, she gave birth in Mali, Mali. Um, but, yeah, nine. The, she be, she made a record. Okay, the Octomom back maybe 10 or so oh, years ago. Oh, I remember ago. that, yeah. Yeah, she had eight. And now this lady. Um, and there were no other measures that, you know, were, were brought in to help her have these nine babies this what do you mean by that like no fertility treatments nothing like that so oh nine i understand babies now completely okay. yeah so wow <laughs> nine babies so i can't i cannot even imagine she's 25 years old she and her husband now have nine babies at the same time nine infants nine mm-hmm. newborns i guess they're not identical i don't know that would be awful. Wouldn't that be a nine <laughs> identical oh looking kids? Oh my goodness gracious. Because you would have to go through the full, it would be a roster. Mm-hmm. It would not be, you know, a couple of names. And then going through roster. a name. If I remember correctly, didn't the doctor say you're going to have seven and they right. didn't see the others? Okay. Well, I mean, they're all hiding behind each other. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> they're already pulling tricks on mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, right. Even before they were born, <laughs> yeah. they were.